Hello, good afternoon, children. Now we are again here to discuss lesson number seven, Jacks and Max. Uh, first of all, is I want to know whether you have any doubt regarding this lesson, which are parts which are taught earlier. If you have any doubt. to understand the concept or any doubt in any question so very first i want to know otherwise when we are uh, start discussing then time is over and uh, we are not able to discuss the doubts so just uh, i am giving you time one or two minutes uh, if you have any doubt then you can write in comment box so that i can explain you again okay so just i am waiting for your uh, queries so if uh, any doubt is there then you tell me i am waiting for your uh, response okay uh, yes i think uh, no doubt is there nobody is putting any yes has saying no doubt any more any more child any more child there no doubt yes okay no problem no problem no problem okay so uh, if uh, you have any doubt then you can write any time on whatsapp group or uh, in this classroom also you can discuss uh, in last class also i told you uh, that uh, some children i have sent the name list those children are not submitting the work of lesson number 6 and we are going to complete uh, lesson number 7 within one or two days and uh, this uh, due date was 8 august and still we are not getting the response from your side so in the lesson number 4 as well as lesson number 5 and uh, lesson number 6 uh, some children are not submitting the work children you know if you are not submitting if you are not doing then how it is possible uh, to correct you and uh, what is your mistake how can you identify and another thing is there ki regular practice is also required if you are not doing regular practice then math is not so easy if you are not doing anything and just you are thinking that in classroom just we will do some chat and just we will watch some video and you will understand this is not like that one so i want to tell you again if you are making your practice whatever the exercises are given whatever worksheets are given to you then it is necessary to solve them and at the same time answer key is also given answer key is also posted on whatsapp group so you can check your answer and you can match whether you are doing correctly or not after that also if any mistake is there then i am correcting and i am just putting uh, some correction or if place is not there space is not there then just i am making the round so i am writing that you check answer from your answer key okay another thing is there a some children whenever they are performing the multiplication or addition they are not showing it if you are not showing the addition multiplication just you are calculating from mobile or from calculator then you are writing the direct answer then it is not good habits and you will not get uh, the mobile calculator any electronic devices whenever you will be appear appear in the examination for the uh, descriptive type or for uh, further in next classes also so you must do practice without practice it is uh, very difficult to understand the concept 
okay so now we are going to do some more exercises and questions are there so it is uh, here you see question mohini mohini's water bottle holds 1 liter of uh, water she drank she drank 450 ml 55 ml of uh, water how much water is uh, left in the water bottle water bottle this is the question it is very simple question very first we have to identify what basic operation we have to perform here so just i am asking from you what basic operation we will do basic operation means always remember this is addition subtraction multiplication and division these are four basic operation in mathematics so which basic operation we have to perform here yes two children are given answer that is the subtraction is there and some are directly writing the answer that is not good habit again and again i am saying that don't write the direct answer whatever question is in front of you i am putting question i am asking question from you the listen the question carefully and answer that question only so subtraction is there very simply you can see that the in the list in the question left word is there so left word word means we have to subtract it it means in the answer we have to do that 1 liter minus it is 455 ml now this is 1 liter and it is 455 ml i yes, on day before study i told you that if we are subtracting adding multiplying dividing any of basic operation we are doing then in that case the same unit must be there what quantities are there same unit must be there here two units are there one is liter and other is milliliter so it means we have to change one unit into other so better we change this uh, liter into milliliter this bigger unit into smaller unit we can do by changing this milliliter into liter also but that is not up to your standard that will be difficult for you so we will not uh, adopt that method so here we change the bigger unit into a smaller unit okay so this 1 liter will be equal to 1000 milliliter minus 455 milliliter and then we subtract it when we subtract we get here 1000 milliliter minus 455 milliliter we subtract we borrow 10 minus 5 5 9 minus 5 4 and 9 minus 4 5 so this is 545 milliliter here you have this answer but uh, this is not complete answer as i put remark in your worksheet also you are just multiplying or adding the uh, digits or the quantities and just numbers and you are leaving that but it is not the complete answer here we have to write what question is asking how much water is left in the water bottle so that answer we must write it here so we write here so for 545 milliliter of uh, water is a uh, left uh, in the bottle okay so 
the now it is complete answer and from this line it is clear very obvious it is very clear that what is asking in the question. So, like that this is the complete answer whenever you are doing the descriptive type of question then you must have to perform all the step otherwise you will not get full marks your marks will be deducted. Why we you are making so work hard to get because of we want that we get the good marks. So, if you are leaving the scope there to deduct the marks then you will get the less marks. So, that is not the good habit. Okay? Now, another question we write. Next question we are taking. You see that uh, question is here. <coughs> Rohan's Rohan's water bottle hold 2 liter of water. Rohan's water bottle holds 2 liters of water. Raju drank 675 milliliter of water. Next, uh, another child is there that is Bunty. Bunty drank 585 milliliter of water. And third child, and third child is there. Uh, not only two child, we have, we have two children we are taking here. So, this is a, they drank water. Now, it is how much, how much water is a left in the water bottle. Now, here third child also can drink some water, fourth child, child also can drink, uh, drink some water. So, so many uh, parts may be added there and the process will be same, the method will be same. Now, here in this question tell me what basic operations we have to perform. We have to perform only addition or subtraction or both addition and subtraction. Just you have to tell me, you have to perform only subtraction, only addition or addition and subtraction. Tell me, yes, addition and subtraction, Sahaj, very good, good answer, yes, uh, that uh, you once you are saying only subtraction, it is not, both there are so many children are answering correctly. So, here we have to do addition as well as a subtraction. First of all, we find that how much water is drank by both the children. Okay? So, first we find that one. So, first child drank it is 675 milliliter, 675 milliliter and second child drank Bunty drank 585 milliliter of a water. Now we find that how much water is drunk by two children, how much water is drunk by two children. So, that is 5, 5, 10 and 1, 7, 1, 8, 8, 16 and 1, 6, 1, 7, 5, 12. This is 1000 260 milliliter of water is drunk from the water bottle. Now, how much water is there in water bottle? 
how much water is there yes tell me how much water is there anybody hurry up hurry up how much water is there how much was yes very good anushka 2 liter so what question is there you answer that one only so this is 2 liter water is there so here it is milliliter it is liter here so we can change into milliliter this liter will be changed into milliliter that is 2000 milliliter now we have to subtract how much water is left so left means we have to subtract from whole total water that is 2000 milliliter minus 1260 milliliter now subtract is 0 10 minus 6 4 9 minus 2 7 and 1 left here this is 1 minus 1 0 so that is 740 milliliter so it means 740 milliliter of water is left in rohan's bottle yes how many children are answering correctly yes very are uh, very good very good so many children are giving the correct answer okay good children so we write here so 740 40 milliliter of uh, water is uh, left uh, in the water bottle water bottle okay this is the answer any doubt anybody yes so this is the another question now we take different type of question here um can you remember that in your life you have taken injection any injection whenever you are sick whenever you are ill then have you taken injection how many are yes tell me yes many children have taken injection okay so just we will do some questions regarding the injection okay question is here we write shanu has to take has to take a injection and injection twice daily for 10 days 10 days one injection one injection has 5 ml of uh, medicine in one injection there are 5 ml of medicine now first question is how many how much medicine does she take she take in a one day this is the first part and second part is a uh, how much medicine medicine will she take in a uh, 10 days in 10 days okay so whenever any person is sick at your home then doctor advise to take tablets sometimes tablet is not sufficient so doctor advise to take injection also so whenever injection has to be taken then 
uh, it may be once daily or twice daily or thrice daily it depends upon doctor's advice okay so here it the doctor advise that to take injection twice daily twice daily means in one day two times he has to take means in the morning and in the evening two times okay and here one injection has 5 ml of a medicine In injection you have seen syringe you have seen so the syringe is smaller syringe is there then it is the 5 ml 2 ml 1 ml and if big injection is there then there are 10 ml and if you have seen that the the some uh, syringe is there which is used for the animals so this is very very big okay you have sometimes you have seen in movie okay so this is a, a different uh, size of uh, syringe are there in which the medicine are filled and it is uh, given to the patient on advice of the doctor okay so here one injection carried 5 ml and in two times he takes so it means in one day he will take 5 ml plus 5 ml means this is the morning and this is evening twice daily so that will be equal to 10 ml or you may multiply this 5 ml by 2 that also you can get so he will write here so he takes a 10 ml of a medicine medicine daily or in one day this is the first answer now how much medicine will he take in 10 days 10 days in one day it comes here answer now in 10 days just we multiply by 10 and we find the answer this is 10 days into into 10 ml in one day that is equal to 10 into 10 that is equal to 100 ml so he will take 100 ml of medicine in a 10 days this is the answer okay any doubt is here any doubt anybody if you have doubt then tell me okay no so just we will move to the next question all these questions are word problem this is word problem is there so in word problem just we have to find out with which a basic operation we have to perform that is the very important and whenever we have to uh, identify the basic operation the separate marks are given for that one if suppose the question is of two marks question then at least half marks are there for identifying that which operation we have to do okay now next question is there it is here uh, 50 ml uh, in a, your house in the morning in the evening your parents you also you are taking the coffee or tea okay you are taking the liquids coffee or tea so whenever you are making your mother is making coffee then what materials are required to make coffee just tell me children tell me what materials are required to make coffee yes any anyone milk okay milk is required water is required okay sometime water you can mix and uh, coffee powder is there sugar is there okay very good so it means if uh, 
necessity is there then you can make coffee or tea okay good children if you are knowing these things uh, then sometimes whenever you are um, in need then you can make uh, a coffee or a tea okay so 50 milliliter of uh, milk is needed to make one cup of tea 50 milliliter of uh, milk is needed to make one cup of tea how much how much milk is needed to make to make 175 cups of tea okay one whenever you are making one cup of tea then you need 50 milliliter of milk if you have to make 175 cups of tea then how much milk is required and now you will ask that uh, what is need of uh, making too many cups of tea 175 cups of tea okay so now sometimes uh, you have a function at your home suppose a function at your home is there and you require that uh, milk is there milk re you required milk uh, sugar everything you required and then you have to calculate that how much milk is required then only you can take milk from the milkman okay so uh, and somebody will say that uh, we can use the milk powder so milk powder uh, uh, you can make tea but that uh, quant quality of uh, tea is not uh, as good as it is the uh, milk whenever you are taking the uh, from milk man the good quality of the milk if you are taking okay so here just we will find that in one for one cup it is given here 50 milliliter and we have to find out the 175 then what to do here what to do what will we do yes very good we will multiply yes we will multiply so we are multiplying here answer is here 50 milliliter that is for one cup and then it is 75 milliliter now here you can see this in this lesson the use of lesson number six is there in lesson number six you have done junk seller junk seller in you have multiplied there okay multiplication you have done so use of that lesson is mixed up here so we have to multiply it here and you can do the multiplication orally or you may write in column wise and you can multiply it so whenever you are doing orally then first of all you have to write one zero here because in 50 one zero is there so we write one zero when we write one zero now what is left here five and then it is 175 so we multiply this 175 by five then orally we can multiply it okay need not to write in column wise and then we have to do the we have to perform the big method okay so now five five yeah 25 carry over is two here and 5 7 ja 35 plus 2 37 and carry over 3 and 5 1 ja 5 plus 3 8 so this is 8750 milliliter so it is big quantity of the mill milliliter is more than 1000 it means here it is better to change milliliter into liter saying this 8750 milliliter this is a big answer and uh, it doesn't uh, look nice so we can change into liter and milliliter also as i told you 
that you just see that ones tens and hundred you just uh, underline it these are milliliter and what is left here that is liter so just we will write here this is 8 liter we write 8 liter and this 750 milliliter so we can write here so 8 liter 700 50 milliliter of milk is needed to make to make 175 cups of uh, tea okay so i think uh, you understood these things and uh, this uh, the sufficient for today and uh, if time is also going to over so whatever your doubts uh, you will uh, put up your doubts and i will uh, solve your doubts uh, in next class uh, but uh, children again and again i am saying that uh, whenever you were uh, writing the worksheet 6 uh, i was very disappointed because of nobody was writing the rupees and units they were not writing directly they were writing the answer then that is not good habit so create your habits or you always write your units also okay okay